Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about Link again and this video is going to be a bit different than my previous video because this video will try to fix one of the bugs that I made in my previous video. So um, in my previous video I just tried to show you the performance like pitfalls that like you can fall in where do, when doing Link. But at the end, I had one example showing a group by operator that showed why link rocks because it was very hard to implement something faster than this operation. But what I forgot is that you need to materialize your queries, and one of the like people that watched the video, I'm assuming it's one of the subscribers. Um, he goes by the name of Jacek Gonsiorowski, uh, pointed out that I probably, this pro this example is probably wrong because I don't materialize the query at all. And I went to the, to the like demo materials and indeed that's true. So let's correct our mistakes and let's run it again and uh, see how it performs. So <coughs> going back to this example, so this is the example that we had here. So it's a group by operation on um, a list of transactions and the transaction just has a single field called name. And what we're doing here is we're grouping the transactions by name and we're trying to find essentially duplicates. So we're doing count where count is greater than some number k. And that k currently is one, it could be more, right? So, uh, actually that operator was called GT to, to state that it's created, but never mind. Um, so, what we did here is a group by operation and this gets turned in, into a data structure called lookup. And that data structure is really robust and I still stand by that um, statement. But we didn't do materialization here. So let's see how it performs. So it takes roughly 20 milliseconds. Well, that's good. Well, and, and bad because we don't actually materialize anything. So that's bad. And our second example takes 74 milliseconds. And our second example is using the dictionary. So um, what we do here is we're doing like uh, the dictionary of key values where the key is the name and the value is the count. And we're just doing incrementing the count. At the end, we're, we're just going to collect the keys that have the condition met. And this takes 74 milliseconds. And our third example was our custom lookup data structure that we wrote. And that data structure uh, was like very robust. Uh, it did all of the interesting things. So it it had like a bunch of buckets with which we call groups here. And if when we create this list from the transaction list, so this data structure, we calculate the hash code, we put stuff into its correct like buckets. Um, we do a bunch of inlining and we're doing uh, a pretty clever operation here where we actually don't have any if statements at all. Well, uh, apart from this, but this is the only place that we have a if statement. So this is intentional. This is by design. This is not easy to do, but we did it. And it's a very optimized version. And that version takes roughly 70. This version takes roughly what? 30 milliseconds. So I, I in that video, I told you that this is probably faster, but Link is still on par. It's very hard to uh, be faster than Link and obviously did not materialize. So let's materialize that and see how it performs now. So now it takes roughly 130 milliseconds. 120, something like that. So our dictionary version is already almost two times faster and our custom data structure lookup is like three to five, even sometimes six times faster, something like that. So as you can see, I've fallen into one of the performance, into one of the pitfalls that Link has. It's a feature of Link and it's good, but I've been, you know, 
so for some reason I didn't catch that and I said that link rocks here and it turns out it does not rock it's slower by a lot really but still the data structure inside that gets uh, the job done is a really good data structure and you should look it up you should go to uh, .NET source code and check how that data structure is implemented because I think you're you're gonna f appreciate that because it's it's really good okay so um, that's all for the video uh, I'm hoping I'm not gonna make uh, any bugs in the next video. Um, sorry about that. I just wanted to clarify this mistake and moving forward, I'll try to do a better job and check my material first. So thank you and see you next time.